They did it, and it lasted. Well, 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 we got the man through the door. What did I say to you? I would be back, and I am back with an abundance. Maxwell Corney has signed for... West Ham United. I am buzzing. What a great signing. What a versatile signing. It is a great deal for West Ham. Keep those bloody comments coming in. We have signed him from Burnley and he's an Ivory Coast international. He can also play, like I said, covering the whole left-hand side on a video earlier on. He's a left winger. He's a wing back. He is a full back. And he joins on a five-year contract with a further one-year option. He is an exciting sign for us. He is. I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm not mincing my words here. I really, definitely, genuinely believe this is a very good sign for West Ham. You can see with his versatility what he offers to us as a team, and that's exactly what David Moyes is asking for. One hundred percent players that can cover all different elements from all different. Um, all different angles from, the, from on the park and it's a fantastic signing for us. So what he's actually gone on to say is it's a new step for him to join the club. This big club, he says, and I'm really happy to be here to be part of the project for the club. I'm just excited to start. Everyone knows the level here at the Premier League is very high and I want to play here for that. So I'm really happy to be here for the next stage of my career. It will be amazing to play in front of 62,500 fans at the London Stadium. I played here for Burnley last season and I can't wait to experience it as a West Ham player. Um, manager David Moyes, he went on and expressed his happiness at bringing in the player who's got not just Premier League experience, League 1 experience and international experience as well, which will all add to the 40 for what the player can offer to West Ham. He said, we're delighted to welcome Maxwell to West Ham United. He's a versatile player with good experience, both in the Premier League and European football, and will add strength and quality to our squad. He made a big imp impact with his performances for Burnley last season, and he's impressed me with his desire to improve and challenge himself further here at West Ham. We look forward to bringing Maxwell into the group and wish him the best in his career for us. Now, I genuinely believe this is another shrewd bit of business by um, David Moyes. Now, what we're led to believe is the deal is worth £17.5 million. Obviously, he had a release clause in there that had to be paid, and at West Ham have paid that um, £17.5 million deal. I think, it's a, like I said, it's, it's great. I think Burnley will be disappointed to see him go, but we're hearing a lot from a lot of Burnley fans online that have said, you know what, they wish him all the best. They said that he's handled himself impeccably well at the club, considering they did get relegated and he could have, in theory, had the pick of a few teams. And I don't doubt for a second that a few teams would have been sniffing in and around Maxwell Cornet because I definitely think that um, what, what he offers all round is everything that um, teams would be looking for. And I, I, again, I'm, I, I don't want to get people thinking I'm getting Kyrie because we made a signing. No, this is a typical piece of David Moyes' business, a player who is versatile. And, and David Moyes actually says that. In his um in his interview with the West Ham website, because he offers 
that in abundance, and that is exactly what he's looking for. I'm just downloading some more images of um, Maxwell Cornet. Here it is here. This is him in, with his West Ham shirt, as you can see. Um, now, like I said, he signed a five-year deal with an option of one more year. Now, he did come off the back of a very good debut season in the Premier League with Burnley last year, where he scored nine goals in 26 appearances in the top flight, um, despite being unable to keep them in the top flight. Now, what makes for interesting reading is that he, like I said, he only played 26-ish appearances for Burnley, but he has covered so many different positions in his career, which covers and spans back to Mets, Leon, a Burnley, of course, but he's played as a left winger, a right winger, a left back, a centre forward, a left midfielder, a right midfielder, and a second striker as well. He has covered so much, but he does arrive late and won't be available for the up-and-coming game against Manchester City because the deal would have had to have been made that he would have been signed by midday today in order for the deal to go across, but it didn't happen. He didn't sign that deal on the dotted line, so he won't be involved in the match against Manchester City. He won't be in the squad. Now, he will wear the number 14, if anyone wants to know. Maxwell Cornet will wear the number 14 for West Ham, which I think is, uh, uh, do you know what? I just love it. How excited, how exciting is it when you hear West Ham sign a bloody player? It's huge. It's amazing. It's brilliant. So here's a bit of history about Corney as well. He was born in the town of Bregbo, just east of the Ivorian, Iv Ivory Coast um, capital, Abidjan. Um, and he moved with his family to the northeast of France um, at the age of three, settling in Metz. At seven, he joined the um, football club of Mets, and he made a senior debut in the third tier of the Championship National in 2012, aged just 15 years and 11 months. And after playing nine times to help Mets win promotion in the 2012-13 season, he appeared 14 times playing alongside the Afro Sacco, so he knows um, what it's all about at West Ham as well. Now, we moved to Lyon in January 2015, just aged 18, and quickly established himself as an integral member of that starting 11, scoring 12 goals in his first full season to help them finish second in League 1. Now, he is extremely quick, he is extremely strong, he's extremely competitive and capable of scoring all types of goals, and he became a mainstay in the Lyon team and regularly finished in the League 1's top four and his record of eight goals in 39 European appearances, including, yes, which is a bit disappointing, the quarterfinal strike against Manchester City in August 2020. And after six, over six years with Leon, he moved to the Premier League with Burnley and he scored nine goals, like I said, in 28 appearances on his way to winning fans footballer of the year. Now, he was capped over 50 times for the French at age group level, so a lot of the younger levels, before opting to represent his country of birth at senior level in 2017, the Ivory Coast. Since then, he's been a regular member of them and appearing in two of their Africa Cup of Nation tournaments. And it is an amazing signature. Let me jump into the comments and see what everyone else is saying. I mean, this is another one that adds, that, that helps West Ham progress forward definitely is it do you see that as a progressive signing i do i think it really is uh neil t good evening hope you're well mate um and how are you feeling about maxwell corney signing for west ham what i love about this one is he comes with an abundance of experience but the massive but to this is he's played he's played a full year of premier league football which is a uh, which really does help. You know, he doesn't have... To, when David Moyes looks at this player, he's probably thinking to himself, I don't need to wait to settle this guy in. He's got the experience of the league. He, know what, he knows exactly what the league is about. And to score nine goals in a struggling Burnley side by playing and covering all different positions, it's 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 a phenomenal achievement for, for Max Corney as well. Now, let me jump into the comments again. Harvey, the salami buzzing, absolutely. Bobby Peters, great sign. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Corny play for us. Monster Factory, absolutely. Legit, I'm going to Tesco and getting some Cornettos. I might join you, mate. Um, I wanted a picture of him holding uh, the Umbro badge. I know well, that picture, that famous picture with him when he signed for Burnley and he's pointing to the wrong one. But if you look back at his um, record of goal scoring, like if you look at his, I mean, the benefit for us is we've seen him 
play at the Premier League, and and we've watched them. If you've watched Burnley play West Ham, if you've watched any of the games on 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 the on the channels, and if you've seen any of the highlights, you see what he's capable of doing. Um, and I think there are some players out there that can play in relegated sides that are 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 are, are well above that standard that can progress definitely. Uh, Mankey is saying this is a smashing signing. If I would have singled out just one player prior to the transfer window, it would have been just him. There you go. Ole, 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 corny. I like that. It's good. Troj, good players are versatile and he can play half a dozen positions. Harley the Salami, can you imagine us in the counter attack now? Saucy. And he adds so much needed pace to the team, doesn't he? Absolutely. Lutely. Um, let's go and get Loftus Cheek on loan. Forget Onana. I mean, it looks like Onana's pretty much signed and sealed for Everton, which is a bit of a, a crazy one as well. Um, two more quality players in, please. Absolutely. Evening, everyone. Roll on Sunday. Uh, Gio had a run fan on said he was really upset that Connie has left the club and says we've got great players on our hands. Well, listen, we've got a good friend, um, Turf Morehouse, comes on the channel. I've not had a chance to bring him on today. Um, I think he went on to Young Jakey's channel and... I, I, I've, I've read a lot of comments about what Burnley fans are saying about him and what they love about Corny is he's handled handled himself impeccably well. He's turned up to treat pre-season. He's came back fit as a fiddle. He was willing to give it a, a chance, but he was never going to knock back an opportunity to come to hopefully what you could say is a big club like West Ham as well. Troj, hit the like button if you find Corny an exciting signing. Absolutely hit that thumbs up, please. Leah saying great signing. How many signings so far? Number five. In the door, number five. It's great. And after listening to David Moyes today, um, he's not stopping there. He's got his another target over the line. Um, and I think he is is great. And, and, and I agree with someone who made the comment earlier on as well when they said that maybe it was a blessing in disguise not getting Lingard through the door because it's allowed West Ham to really nurture and, 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 and look out the right opportunity and the right players that can come in and fit the West Ham system. And I think Maxwell Corney is definitely definitely offers us that in, in an abundance as well um so like i said he joined uh mets sorry he joined mets at the age of seven years old as well so you know he's been in and around um you know top top teams for such a long time he made a senior debut at the age of 15 really really young 15 years and 11 months as well and like i said he's been capped 50 times for france at all the under age levels before he decided to change his allegiance to the ivory coast as well he won promotion to league one in at 17 years old he made 14 appearances for mets who won the league two title and promotion to league one in 2013 14 season 11 points clear of second place long at the top of the table and he starred for leon he definitely did um, he quickly established himself as a regular first team member for them and he, when he was just 18 and he scored 12 goals for them, including eight in League One and his first in the Champions League. Um, and that was the start of his career that saw him play 252 games for the French club, scoring 51 goals. And are you ready for this? Registering 29 assists. So for a player that covers so much different areas of that left-hand side, he has been involved for the French club in uh, 80, 80 goals between scoring and assisting. What a fantastic stat. What a fantastic stat to have. Nine goals for Burnley, two assists for Burnley, 51 goals for Lyon, 29 assists. Now, let's not forget, he has played 60 in his whole career. You ready for this? He's played 61 times. As a left winger, he's played 54 times as a right winger, he's played 34 times as a left back, he's played 33 times as a center forward, he's played 24 times as a left midfielder, 16 times as a right midfielder, and once as a second striker. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if David Moyes utilized them in all the left hand side and the forward lineup as well. Monster Factory says, great signing, we needed pace and he'll have a great season. Tommy Black, definitely happy about this signing. Still young. Uh, he, he, yeah, he absolutely is still young. 25 years old and he's Premier League tested and a position that we needed could not be better. Absolutely. Literally. Um, just trying to find something else here for you as well. If I can bring them up. It's coming to me here. Yep. Yeah, so I've got some of his, you know, stats from the Premier League last year. Nine goals 
Um, one of them was a headed goal. He got two with his right foot, six with his left foot. Uh, he also scored a free kick. He, um, in his 26 games in the Premier League, attempted 47 shots at goal with 22 of them on target. That's a shooting accuracy of 47%. He had five big chances missed. Um, he completed, sorry, he made 377 passes, uh, averaging about 15 odd passes per game. Remember, in a struggling Burnley side as well, he created two chances per game. Um, his cross accuracy was about 18%, three through balls. He, he made five accurate long balls. He does like to get stuck in and tackles as well. He's got a 56% tackle success rate. He's got nine block shots. 10 interceptions, 13 clearances, 8 headed clearances, 80 recoveries. He's won 73 duels. Um, he's got 13 successful 50-50s. He's won 24 aerial battles with no errors leading to goals. This is an all-round player. And like I said, you can always see that in an abundance because you look at um, his history um, when he plays for all the clubs that he's played for. Uh, oh, there we are. Is Corne the Masawaku replacement? I actually think it's a mixture of a few players, to be honest. And um, what, what you get in Maxwell Courtney is versatility, huge amount of um, vers versatile player that's gonna that's just gonna cover so much ground and so much. About. It's, it's a brilliant sign, it really is. And Moyes is saying we need four more. I don't, I, do you know what? He never actually necessarily said the number, did he, Troj? But he's alluding to the fact we need a lot more, and I think we do. Um, and I feel like every signing we've made adds really pure and utter quality to the team. If you think about the players that are going out the door compared to the players that have, are coming in, obviously with Masuaku gone, um, that's left the left-hand side, it, um, you know, a bit weak. But now with Maxwell Cornet coming in, it's not leaving it nowhere near as weak. Now, for people that are just joining me, he's not going to be available for the game against Manchester City on Sunday because West Ham didn't register him in time for the midday deadline. However, even if he was registered, I'm not too sure if he would have started because Moyes tends to not do that anyway. But um, great signing. Good evening from South Africa. Glad to hear some more good news. Any more coming in under the radar? I think there will be plenty more coming in under the radar very soon. Good news. Pace on the left-hand side. Crack and signing. Not a bad price. Good news at last. He wasn't our first choice. It was desperate by considering we got rid of Arthur and Kostic. Knocked his back. I don't know if I agree with you there, Osborne. I think David Moyes had options. Now, whether or not Kostic would have signed for West Ham or not, I don't know if Maxwell Cornet would have been done. But what they do is they don't just... Um, look, at it. it seems to be that it was potentially between Kostic and Corny. It seemed to be between one or the other. And I think either way, Moyes would have been happy with who he got through the door. And if Kostic has gone to Juve, which he has, looks like he has, then I think he was going to be extremely happy with Corny and vice versa. So I don't think it is that because you're seeing now, I'm sorry, Osborne, but you're seeing now with the Onana deal that Moyes is not, you know, pussyfooting around with this. He ain't going to pay the money for a player that he doesn't think is going to be worth it. And they're not going to be bent over backwards, which is what the entourage from Onana wanted. Um, is he really 29? I demand carpet. <laughs> uh, if you get a shirt for one of the new signings, who are you getting? It's a good question. It's a good question. I really like Corny. I really do. Um, I, I, think, I think because I've seen him in the Premier League, and that's what excites me about this signing more. Maybe I'm excited by Skamaka. I'm excited by Aguerd, especially after seeing him, uh, what quality he really offers, because I was a centre-half as well. But Corne and Skamaka are the exciting signings, aren't they? They're the ones that you would want on the end of the, the ball or you know the fact that Corne has got the ability to defend, attack, sc score goals. I think a lot of people think because he does that, does he give away much opportunities? But he doesn't. He's got no errors leading to goal in his whole game um, as well. So no, I'm 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 all for this signing, hundred percent. And that's a tough question. Who would you get on the back of your top? I don't know who I'd get on. I mean, I I still love Fornells, mate. I still love Pablo Moist. There you go, mate. That's only one word for you. He can smash the ball with either either foot, and I'm delighted with his signing. Going to be scary for opposition next season for any team. God, you add that attacking threat going forward, and, and, and the fact that Cornet can defend as well really does give us options. It really, really does. Honestly, I think we're going to be in for some shocks about what David Moyes is going to do, how he's going to set up. I don't think that's why when you look at the, the press conference, Moyes doesn't give anything away. He gives nothing away. 
nothing at all. George, the coaches said when Corney played at youth level, he was such a bigger and physically dominating than they expected. He was older, genuine pace. Finally, due to the age restriction, Peter Jones, good to see you, mate. Hope you are well. Why would Anana sign for Everton? They're my bet to go down this season for Lampard's team can't defend. Martin, the reason he is signing for Everton is because of that. Money, money, money! Money! Apparently, the entourage were requesting upwards of 135 to 140k a week. Now, it doesn't matter if West Ham fans can sit here and go, why are we not signing Onana? Why are we not going to sign Onana? We're not going to sign Onana if he's requesting that amount of money. And and I, I agree with Russ. It is annoying because you spend all that time negotiating a deal with a club for the club to accept the offer. It goes to personal terms. And the expectations of the player compared to the club is just totally worlds apart. Worlds apart. And then they suddenly hit you with, we want 140, 135k a week. And West Ham are like, well, our best player isn't on that. So we ain't giving you that. And then they're like, well, we're going to walk away from the deal. And West Ham are turning around going, see you later. Because we ain't, we're not caving into that. You cave into that for a player like Onana, who's not got Premier League experience. He could be a quality player. He could work out really well. That has a really bad knock-on effect for the rest of the club. And I, I honestly, I've got to give credit where credit's due to whoever's managing this situation. Hopefully it's David Moyes and, and Rob Newman. And if they are, I think they're managing it really, really well. And I hope that it is them. It would be good to know if it was them. And sticking by their guns. And it, 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 totally right not to sign a player like Onana. If him, apparently it's his sister who runs the, um, the, 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 the thing. Here he comes again. He's out and about again. Just as we sign a player. Russ. Every time, every time I'm out of, the, out of somewhere, we sign a player. I should permanently never be at home. That's it, mate. That is it. How exciting is this, though? Again. Brilliant, isn't it? I mean, we knew oh, it was going to happen. I mean, you knew it was going to happen today, but it's good to get over the line. Gets us all fuzzy, doesn't it, in terms of in terms of Man City now. So, the thing is, good, though, man. The thing is, it doesn't really matter even if we do know that he was going to sign today. It's the moment that it gets announced. Like, I think I texted you at, like, quarter to seven, saying, seven o'clock, let's do the video. And, um, and and even when seven o'clock got announced and I seen it come through, I was like, "Woo!" <laughs> I was like, what? I was, I was yeah. sitting in Marks and Spencer's, going, "Oh my god, we started another player." And Flo just laughed. Flo yeah, players. yeah, because because honestly, it's ridiculous. Like when you go out and then bang, we sign a player. But yeah, you're right, mate. Unfortunately, he's not been signed in time for to be included in the squad against Man City. He is going to be wearing the number fourteen top. But Maxwell Corney, mate. I mean. Good, good signing. Great signing, great signing. And as a pre, as a prelude to our little sit down with Trevor Sinclair, he speaks very, very highly about Max or Corne. So it's great. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> She's gone. But um, gone. yeah, no. I mean, he's an all rounder, really, any. And I, I know you were talking about it, and I've been addressing the show you did earlier on. You were talking about positions he's played. I mean, it's ridiculous in his whole career, Russ. His whole career, he's covered. I mean. The, the, he plays the most. In actual fact, it's literally split. He spends most of his career in the following positions. Left wing, right wing, left back, centre forward, left midfield, mm. right midfield. He, he, he's not really officially got a position, really. No. But no, that's what think... shows if he, if he makes it at the top level, which he has been doing his whole career, and you add that versatility to it, You've got Maxwell Corney, you've got David Moyes, and they just fit, don't they? And don't, and don't forget, he's got a nice six foot five Italian international to ping it up to. Mate. That's, that's what, and also, that's what Sinks was saying. That's what Sinks was saying was how, yeah. you know, having, having that, you know, obviously that was a site, that was an area which we missed out last year, definitely that left hand side in terms of nailing down the position. And now hopefully Max will come in and nail that down. Whether it is, you know, as you said, he could come in as left back. Yeah. Played half yeah. his career at left back. Well, th th this is what's crazy, though. W what's interesting is if you look at his time when he was at Burnley and when Dyche signed them, he actually played a very big part for them when they played in their typical Sean Dyche's much beloved 4 4 2 formation. But what you actually noticed was he, form um, he formed a formidable relationship with Chris Wood by running onto a lot of the balls that were coming off of the big headers that he was winning. And because he excels really well in one-to-one -one duels, he is the sort of player that probably 
could milk that. And I can honestly see Russ. I can honestly see Corney having like I, when when I was thinking about choosing the team moving forward. I think moving forward, I don't think for the Man City game we're going to get many shocks, but I think many, moving forward, we're going to potentially see a whole new West Ham. A style of play and, yep. and what these guys can offer. And just options, isn't it? I mean, the fact is, Corne's coming in now, he can, he can play four positions. Um, he's actually, even, his preferred foot is his right foot, but he has no he's playing the right side. Um, so you've got him, you've got Antonio now, who can play left? You've got Bowen, you've got Skomaka, you've still got people like Lanzini, you've got people like Ben Rama, Vlasic. There's it's there's so many options now. It's it's brilliant. It's really it really good is. To see. You can you you can see that what Moyes is trying to build there is options. Like if you think about if you take into consideration Bowen, I mean I know West Ham clips done a video for us earlier on, and, and but but when you take away the funny side of it, if these players can hit on all cylinders then you know if you can get the same output from Jared Bowen and um, the same output from Antonio add in a similar output from Skamaka something from Cornet something from Fornals something from Lanzini like you're starting to I mean I, I've not even mentioned half of the I don't even know who's in our forward positions there and I don't think he's done I don't think he's done in this department I, I, I honestly I really don't I he said in his press conference today, which is really interesting, like I, I'm not, I'm not done, and and we've lost, and we were already thin. I need to bring in more. I'm going to be bringing in more, and I think he's going to. If if you're if you're looking at, you know, the positions that we've uh, to players we've been linked to, I, I wouldn't put it past him to look at another centre forward, another central midfielder, attacking midfielder, another central midfielder who can cover, you know. Rice, Suchek, all that sort of stuff. Well, I think I think a lot of it's going to depend on Chelsea and who Chelsea buy next. Yeah. So if Chelsea go out and buy a Bamiang, which is what's been discussed today, then where does that leave Brozier? If they go and yeah. buy De Jong, where does that leave Conor Gallagher? So, I, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> and that's it. You're done then, isn't it? If we sign Conor Gallagher. So who knows last minute? So, you know, a couple of loan deals. I still think we're going to get a couple of loan deals in. Um and you're totally right. It's um, and also you've got to think someone like Conor Gallagher. If they bring in say De Jong, how's that going to affect his his World Cup? Yeah, you know he's he's on he's on the peripherals, and so he needs to be playing game time. And if Chelsea are decent, they'll let him go on loan to uh, to get some game time. So why not yeah. come to the mighty Hammers? Um, yeah. So yeah, no, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. I totally agree. He's not done just yet. There's definitely still some deals to be had. We know that. We know it's left back. We've got there's a tiller we're looking at. We know we look at Sanese from um, Fine Order, who's a great centre back. Um, so yeah, there's there's more deals to be had. There's more deals to be had, and it's exciting, man. It's, yeah, and I think exciting. I think I think the thing to add to this as well is that we don't really know where he's going to use Corney. We really don't know. Like we could easily sit here and say he could be a left back, a left winger, but he's played. I mean, I'm look I'm looking at all the stats now. So if I take into consideration maybe six of the positions he's played in. It's borderline equal the amount of times he's played. Maybe I give or take a couple of, of the positions, but he's borderline played. Like if you had it on a pie chart, which we probably should do. I know you'd love that, Russ, wouldn't you? You'd love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> and you'd have the percentage of, of where he's played. It's ridiculous. It's like 18% there, 18% there, 18% there, 18% there, 18% there. 18 there, 18 there. He's, played, he's played literally everywhere. Um, and he and he offers goals. I mean, I didn't realize how many goals and assists he was vital for Leon. In 252 games for Leon, he scored 51 goals and got 29 assists. He was involved in over 80 goals for Leon in his 250 appearances for them. And the lad is only 25. Exactly, and on a nice long contract as well. That's what I like. We're signing these young. And the young players on really long contracts. Yeah, that's that's the thing. And yeah, he might not stay six years, five plus one, but it doesn't matter. We've got yeah. that. Our investments protected for that, and and same true with someone like Skomaku as well. It's the same thing. So it's um it's exciting times, man. It's exciting times. It is, I, I'm also aware that we have to be mindful of the fact that when you sign new players, 
we have time to bed them in. Moyes is very careful when he says that. He says it all the time. He said it about Skamaka today. Um, I do believe there's an element of smoke and mirrors. He's not going to give a huge amount away about what he's going to do for Man City. Um, so I wouldn't believe, if you listen to what he actually says, he doesn't say he's not playing. He's just said he may not feature. So just be mindful of that, I suppose. I'm not saying he will. I'm not saying he won't. But what he's actually doing is he's he's bringing in all these players. They do have to gel. However, if they've passed the, the personality test, and when you watch Burnley's social media content, the one that seems to bring a smile to everyone's face is Maxwell Corney. He seems to be up for stuff. He seems to be having a laugh. You know, he's a French-speaking Ivory Coast international, and he'll just come into that mix of players that are in there and probably settle in brilliantly. And you could see him settling in with that squad, can't you? Yeah, you're right. He just and 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 you know, and to be honest, all the Burnley fans and Twister and stuff have been really safe in terms of saying, oh, I'm glad he's going to West Ham, he's not going to Newcastle, anything like that. But uh yeah, all good, all good, right? I'm gonna have to go, I'll we'll go and pay for Flo's clothing in Zara. Yeah, you're right. People did say it's <laughs> Zara in Lakeside, yes. Um, but don't forget, we've got Holly's show starts tomorrow. We've yeah. also got the preview, we've got a sit down with Sinks as well. Yep. Trevor Sinclair so, is on tomorrow. He is, so make sure you watch all that. Anyway, I gotta go. See that man. Cool. No worries. Take it easy, Russ. Bye bye. Um, there you go. The Russ is out doing the shopping. Um, so yeah, coming up, we've got Holly's new show tomorrow. Really cool. Looking forward to seeing um that content as well. Uh, we've got a sit down with Trevor Sinclair, who sat down with Russ, speaking about the season ahead. We've also got maybe a little cheeky Trevor Sinclair in the preview, but keep your eye on the preview tomorrow evening as well. Loads and loads and loads of content, but let me jump through the rest of the comments. Loads to go through. Um, three days to sign him, four weeks to sign Onana, and still not get him. Joke the West Ham way. I'm sorry. I don't. I mean, for me, Onana shot himself in the foot. And if he's going to go to Everton, then so be it. That's what's going to happen. I'm glad we're not paying over the odds for him to 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 send a ripple of negativity around that squad. I'm looking forward to this season. Really optimistic, Peter. Um, will we still go for Diaz or not? Not too sure. Uh, afternoon, Anton. Hope everyone is well. Thank you, Adam. Sharp Fitness, Luke. Um, if these boys bang in the goals, we expect them to do Champions League beckons. Yeah, I get that. I just don't want to get carried away. That's my biggest concern. I understand it. I understand we bring in new players. Um, they have time to settle. They're going to have to settle. The one benefit to Cornet is he's got Premier League experience, which is key. So that kind of trumps Flynn Downs, that trumps Gamaka, that trumps Aguerd. So him and Ariola become the Premier League experienced new signings that come into the club, which really, really does help. Do you think Diop will stay or sign a centre-back? I don't know if Diop will stay. Um, it seems to be quite conflicting when you look on his social media and then suddenly he's bang, he's back at West Ham training, looking happy as Larry. I'm not sure. If the right money comes in, I can see him going because I don't see how he's going to get time to play unless we pick up more injuries. Uh, we're looking so strong this year, realistically positioned for next year. Good question. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I'll be happy with top six. Again, if we can get top six again, um, that's that's progression for West Ham. That's three years in a row of progression. And it gives us the chance to boost again in the transfer market next year. I am a little bit wished we'd brought these players in a lot earlier, but I trust in what Moyes is trying to achieve. Um, so I'll go top six and some form of cup win, some form of cup win, and obviously qualify for the minimum the Europa League next year. How good would it be to be Champions League, though? Absolutely. Uh, hi, everyone. Where does the sign of Cornet leave Benny, who has not impressed Moyes? <clears throat> interesting however you may see him on Sunday I don't know I don't know I don't know what's going to happen with Benny uh, Frank's still going down and play by Santa I expect it's time I don't care about Anana. I want to see everything go <laughs> there you go man. Anana's agent is his sister say no more Adam Cook too many players see Premier League and just think money it's greed of football Graham Lindsay hi from Canada really looking forward to the new season great show keep up the good work thank you very much Graham never rated Anana and not 40 million no thanks I mean from what I saw I do rate him I think under the right team, he'd be a really top-notch player. But it looks like money is talking. Uh, unfortunately, Anana's going for the dosh, and I think he'll regret it. Apparently, his sister, and who said, don't go to West Ham. The perfect Onana replacement. 
um, is Senyar from me. Let's make some Ivorian connections and get him for a decent fee while he's at the Netherlands. John is back in. Corny and Downs deals show that West Ham are moving fast in the transfers this season. Unfortunately, greedy players and agents are the ones slowing down the other deals. 100% right, mate. Totally agree with you there. Um, Y'all just salty and Anna is a beast. I'm not saying he's not, but I just don't want him for the money that he's, he's looking for. Where do you reckon we'll finish this season? That's a good, good question. I'll ask that question to everyone in the chat before we go. Where will West Ham finish this season? You let me know. Corny is class. He is. Jordan is buzzing. Salt House client. Quail surprise. Um, looks like Lakeside it is. Will we be giving him number nine shirt? Uh, it's not a 99p anymore. Remember that? Remember when you used to go to the ice cream shop and ask for a 99? And then they say £2.50. You're like, what's going on? What is going on? I love how they kept it though. Any deals in Zara Russ? Yeah, the team could get sixth, seventh, win Europa Conference League with a great season. Same position. Antonio used to play before becoming a striker. Um, it was nice to sign a player that's played in the Premier League. Absolutely. Corne, Scamaca, Bowen, and Antonio. Could it happen? Uh, we're going to kill this season, boys. Sanyar is possibility X is just updated. We're so underrated this season again. We've acquired more pace. Hurrah. Steven is saying if we sign player, if, if new signing play their heart out and Moyes believes we need to give them time to settle. Ruby Tuesday, the hammers are throwing up in the sky. Um, a couple of loans and one more in and we'll have a decent team from a good bench. Can Corne play against City unfortunately he cannot play for against Man City because West Ham did not register him in time for the 12 o'clock kickoff deadline today Creswell, Zuma, Oggy Johnson, Sufal, Reis, Suchek, Corne, Antonio Scamacca, Bowen what a starting 11 that is 4-2-4 no man he didn't get it done in time thanks really excited from Dalek recommended what to buy from Trust from <laughs> David um no Conor Gallagher plays. He's been looking dreadful. I'm sorry, Hammerhead, mate. I couldn't disagree with you more. And I get that. And we're all entitled to opinions. I think he would be a top, top, top-notch signing for them. And honestly, I do agree with Russ. Depends on who they sign next. It could be worth a cheeky bid. I just don't see him getting the game time at Chelsea that he wants because Chelsea like to spend the money. Hopefully, Onana fails Everton Medical. Uh, well, I, I don't know if I want him, mate. So Gallica would be amazing for us. We're linked to Sinisi too, but can, can, can Corne play? Yes, he can. He can play against Nottingham Forest. Surely he starts as a left uh, wing. But Martin, you will see this pie chart, I guarantee, over the next couple of days. I've given Russ an idea, and I know he's going to go with it. Uh, Corne looks dynamite. Come on, people, let's hit the like button and show the thumbs up, please. I uh, think he'll be a winger for us, and Moyes was trying to sign Kostic. He's looking for a left winger. Bedding players in is one thing, but we can't wait. And need to be thrown in. And Cornet, I think, could be thrown in. Uh, even though now this signing excites me, there's no way Everton can afford a Nana, just greedy agents. I can see Moyes sticking Corney up top. Come on, get Maxwell Corney fifth signing of the window. Uh, Scarborough Hammer, maybe not signing Onana. Could be a blessing in disguise with St. Garlinked for cheaper and Sinesi or Salazi. Safal on my shirt. I was at right back in my youth. Uh, Moyes named Fabs and Creswell assistant captain, so I expect they'll play just about every game. Uh, Safal is my favourite player from Scott. Jordan is saying happy with top six. I will be absolutely over the moon considering what other clubs have done this window. Absolutely. Top half and win a trophy. Ogbonna is a month off. Yeah, I I, I don't even think he'll be starting games most of the time this year anyway. If these new players gel and we're entertaining football, more success will follow. Bill, I completely agree with you. If they can gel together, it will be huge for West Ham. Scott is saying it will be tough to get about eighth, but with another signing or two, it's possible. If we brought in Kostic, he'd be top five threat. Papa Firth, O'Nana can send ripples through the Everton squad. Jordan, top nine with a cup run and FA and conference. Tom Taylor, top six in a cup would do fine by me. We bought well and just importantly keep the right players. I'm telling you what, though, Tom, if we won a cup and finished in the top 10, I'd be happy with that. I heard Augie played a full 90 today for the under-21s. He did play for the under-23s today, um, but I think he's easily a month off before he even starts anywhere. Fifth, Scott says Anana is a, not a beast. He's a potential to become a beast. True. Matt, uh, fifth or sixth, top eight finish for you, Keith. 7th or 8th for Scarborough Hammer. Sean Hammond is top 6 because I bet on it in conference for good measure. West Ham legendary Pixel, top 8 for me. Also, walking away from Anana was the right move, absolutely. Uh, we sent a, me a message to all agents, in my opinion. Absolutely. 
And I know we'll be humbled at Everton and maybe next year once he realises the error of his ways, we will sign him. So excited for the Premier League. Today it's kicking off extremely soon, isn't it, Peter Jones? I hope the top six can make it there last season if the board is spent in January. We are no longer a soft touch on and off the pitch. Hammerhead, Augie's last season's been too good to run. What a legend without another Winston Reid type and ending. And it was sad. Um, if Corny gets a 99, I scream, I reckon, 7th and 5 to seventh position right just to reiterate this man has signed on the dotted line five-year contract with an option of a further year he has signed on the dotted line from burnley joins west ham he's not going to be available to play against manchester city unfortunately because he was not signed in time for the midday deadline but he is an ivory coast <coughs> international who can cover many different positions on and off the field. Mr. David Moyes has been delighted with the signing. He said, we're delighted to welcome him to West Ham. He's a versatile player with good experience, both in the Premier League and European football. And he will add strength and quality to our squad. He made the big impact with his performance for Burnley last season. And it's impressed me with his desire to move, improve and challenge himself further at West Ham. Maxwell Corney himself said... It is a new step for me joining this big club and I'm really happy to be here to be part of the project for the club. I'm excited to start. Everyone knows the level in the Premier League is very high and I want to play here for that. So I'm really happy to be here for the next stage of my career. It'll be amazing to play in front of 62 and a half thousand fans at the London Stadium. I played here for Burnley last year and I can't wait to experience it as a West Ham player. If you are new around here, please hit that thumbs up. Please do. Please hit the subscribe button. We're nearly close to 13,000 subscribers. We are so close. We are like that close. So just hit that little subscribe button. Hit the bell notification that will notify you when our shows do go live as well. We will be back. Um, oh, that's a good question. I have to answer this. Rate the window now, Anton. I give it an 8 out of 10. Um, I, I'll tell you what. I'll base it upon the fact of how many more players I think we need to sign. So I'm going to give it a seven out of ten because I think if we get three more players, I'll give it a ten out of ten. And I think as long as the three more players come through the door that I've got real quality, it's blatantly going to be a ten out of ten. There, number fourteen for Corney, absolutely. Uh, I like Augie to come into the coaching. He's an important part of the squad. I do agree with you in that as well. I think he has been a very, very important part of the squad. Now, listen, I'm going to leave you for the night. Um, make sure you do join us tomorrow morning. We've got Holly's new show. We've got a sit down with Trevor Sinclair and we'll have the preview tomorrow night as well, followed by the match day morning on Sunday morning and then the match day live, of course, as well. If you're interested to become a channel member, click the membership. Thanks for watching. Corny's a hammer. Come on, you irons. Yes, let's do it. Yeah,